Cilantro, my garlic, onions, tomatoes, smoked fish, and I have my seasonings. I have my black pepper, seasoned salt, hot pepper, adobo, and um, I have my gnaw. I have my chicken. We have in chicken gravy with potatoes. Yes, there go the potatoes. Let's start cooking. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to air fry the chicken. All right, and I'll put it in for 15 minutes. I'll add my oil. We're going to put our vegetable in. Easy, I don't want to burn myself. You hear that? I don't want to burn myself. Easy. Okay. I'm afraid to burn myself. I'm very careful. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's time to add the mixed vegetables. Just to give it that extra big. Okay. So let's add the tomatoes, the tomato space. Add the seasoning. I'm going to add a spoon, a teaspoon of flour. The flour gives it that thickness to the gravy. Look at it. See how thick it is? The chicken is in the pot. So stir it very good. So all that good homemade sauce can go into it. One pot meal. We're going to add the potatoes. You want a chunk of potatoes. up. design school and became an international makeup artist and hair stylist. Nice. I ended up in Atlanta because a company that I was working for, a fashion figure, mm. at the time said, if you move to Atlanta, we'll guarantee you work in the Caribbean. That was a no-brainer for me. Wow. So I packed my bags, <laughs> left the West Coast, moved to Atlanta, Georgia. It's, yeah. it's difficult for me to focus because this plate. Okay, so you know <laughs> That's right, Ethan will continue with a conversation. That sounds good. Honestly, it smells good to me. Yeah. Even though I cook it, okay. I want to eat you. Yeah. So why it's nice and hot, mm, let's try it. Merging of you, two cultures. You get, now you got it. So, some of the U.S. culture takes a back seat to the Liberian. You got it. Okay. Okay, but with the same people. Okay? Would that be a result? of different regions like when you go to if you're dealing with italian food mm -hmm. up in the hills it's different as you move through you italy the food sort of changes the same thing with 100%, liberia 100 percent right 100 percent right so i need to go all over liberia uh, the, so i can experience the difference you get it i think we'll have another interview if you enjoy this whole one <laughs> Now, can you tell them the impact of Madam C.J. Walker? Madam C.J. Walker provided the opportunity of African-American women, because she was a global pioneer, mm -hmm. but she provided a platform mm -hmm. for black women globally mm -hmm. to become self-employed. It's an honor 
to be in this space. That's not getting ready to say yeah. you're reading my mind. Yeah, it's the you know? absolute bond. Yeah. Every day I've been, yeah. um, I discovered this space 30 years ago, but I didn't take ownership until 23 years ago. But for the 23 years that I've been here, there is not one day that I don't come in and feel a sense of gratitude. Upstairs, first black on radio station in North America, and behind you, behind that wall of vinyl, was Dr. King's original headquarters. So all that energy. So much history. Yeah, so. You know? Yeah. You that chose someone. I'm you that chose someone. my fingers. Yeah, please do. You that chose someone. Yeah. Um, tell me, is there anything you would like for my audience, Lone Star Flavors, to know about? You know how to reach you, how to come to your beautiful museum. 30 years ago, I'm riding around Atlanta back from one of my trips, and I turned the corner and I see Madam C.J. Walker on the glass. Mm -hmm. And as a stylist, I knew the legacy. So I, I slammed on my brakes, get out of the car, walk over to that window and start touching it. I watched that window out of respect for 10 years. Never interested in the area, just paying homage, keep on moving. The 11th year, I needed a new location for my salon. I remember that window. I come by, no one was here, so I went to the barber. He said the masons own the building. Go upstairs, check with the masons. I go upstairs, check with the masons. The space is available. I sign the lease immediately, and I get the key. I'm coming down to clean up. I'm all excited. I'm thinking Reese International inside an original Walker Beauty Shop. I come in and start stumbling on to vintage beauty tool. Oh, I'm happy you all accepted my invitation to have my show here. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm grateful you came in to share your food you. with the space. Until then, thanks for tuning in to Lone Star Flavors. Thank you. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. All right? Thank you.